The angels do not often sing to man, but once they sang, and the song was a message, a message, a message, a message. Gerard uh, Pufong, Pufong, <laughs> uh, art hype featured artist, uh, one of the dopest uh, painters, graffiti artists, all around, uh, all around artists that I know. So, if you want, just gonna give us a little bio and uh, tell us what you're all about, man. <laughs> well, I I grew up. I grew up in Cameroon, West Africa, and uh, came to the U.S. in the early 2000s. And I, uh, for some reason, I settled in Omaha. <laughs> um, I see that uh, you know initially when I first walk into your studio, I see uh, elephants everywhere. What uh, what inspires you? What, I mean, just tell us what's up with the elephants. It's gonna sound crazy, but I feel like you know everybody should be an elephant. I like, I just like the, the character of the elephant and the qualities that they portray or they possess. It's like people, a lot of people are like them. I don't know. They're just fun animals. I guess like it also carry personal, much more deeper meaning. Like for example. Uh, most of my pictures of the elephants that I draw, it's like it's me putting out part of my life on canvas, or on the wall, or on paper. Okay. So like they are all experiences that I've been through, but I'm using that you know, animal to portray how I felt. It's sort of therapeutic for me and okay. it could be for other people too. Very cool. What's your uh, inspiration? Where That's do you get it from? <laughs> uh, I just enjoy living creatures. I enjoy people. My inspiration is really from people. I hate being around people, but I enjoy people. <laughs> uh, my process, this is how my day goes. Like in the morning, I wake up. I always wake up real early. I'll be up there for several hours just, just thinking. And then uh, when around like 10, 11, I'll come to my studio, answer whatever calls I need to answer, send out whatever emails I need to answer, or just do like little general paperwork. And then uh, towards the afternoon, after lunch, that's when I start painting. But, but the, 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 point, the point of that is, it's just people. I observe a lot of people, I pay attention to people and I'm in tune with uh, what's going on around me and that's what motivates me or inspires me to create what I create. Definitely look forward to big things. Anything you want to add or what you want to finish with? Anything you want to tell the world about, about you, your art, uh, your thoughts? Anything that you want to leave, leave, leave the world with? I'll probably just say be more like an elephant. <laughs> but uh, I, I, this, I'll say look forward for more things to come. There's a lot of exciting projects in the making right now. I expect to see a lot more murals. We're doing like things that Omar has never seen as far as mural, urban murals is concerned, you know. Large scale, little scale, just all over the city, all legal. <laughs> All legal murals. Uh, I'm working with a bunch of kids, just on the on the constructive side of things. I'm working with a bunch of kids, just helping them, trying to figure out a path for themselves. 
and uh, we're doing lots of exciting stuff. I'm collaborating with a bunch of other local artists, a lot of creative thinkers, writers, and all that, and videographers, and there's just a lot of exciting things happening in 2011. Expect to see more. But be more like that. Be more like the elephant. Be mighty, but be humble. There you go.